Hey everyone, this is Sarah from Japan, and welcome back to another read-along. My voice is still a little scratchy, and I end up coughing sometimes, so please bear with me. Alright, please open up your Bibles to uh, John chapter 12. John chapter 12, let's get started. Okay. The Anointing at Bethany. Then six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus, who had been dead, whom he had raised from the dead, there they made him a supper, and Martha served, but Lazarus was one of the was one of those who sat at the table with him. Then Mary took a pound of very costly oil, spike, spike nard, anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. But one of the disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, who would betray him, said, Why was this fragrant oil not sold for three hundred denarii and given to the poor? This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the money box, and he used to take what was put in it. But Jesus said, Let her alone. She has kept this for the day of my burial. For the poor you have with you always, but me you do not have always. The plot to kill Lazarus. Now a great many of the Jews knew that he was there, and they came, not for Jesus' sake only, but that they might also see Lazarus, whom they had raised from the dead. But the chief priests plotted to put Lazarus to death also. Because on account of him, many of the Jews went away and believed in Jesus. The Triumphal Entry the next day a great multitude had come to the feast when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees, and went out to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. The King of Israel, sorry. <laughs> then Jesus, when he had found a young donkey, sat on it, as it as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things were written about him, you know, because they are all taught this, and that they had done these things to him. Therefore the people who were with him, when, they, when he called Lazarus out of his tomb and raised him from the dead, bore witness. For this reason the people also met him, because they heard that he had done this sign. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, You see that you are accomplishing nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. See, they're not happy, not because he's telling the truth, but because they're going to lose their lofty position. You know, they're going to lose their high position in society. The Romans are going to take that away from them if he, if Jesus, you know, is, you know, turns out to be the true king messiah. So, you know, it's not that they don't believe him because, you know, he, they actually think that he isn't the son of God. But they don't want to believe, they don't want people to believe him because that would take away their place in society. It's all about themselves. <coughs> Sorry. All right. The fruitful grain of wheat. Now there was a certain there were certain Greeks among them, among those who had came up to worship at the feast. Then they came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida of Galilee, and asked him, saying, "Sir, we wish to see Jesus." Philip came and told Andrew, and in turn Andrew and Philip told Jesus. But Jesus answered them, saying, The hour has come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Most assuredly I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. He who loves his life will lose it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, let him follow me. Okay, did you catch that? If anyone serves me, let them follow me. That means you do what you, he does, you know? You go where he goes. And where I am, my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, my father will honor. Jesus predicts his death on the cross. Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this purpose I came to this hour. He said, like, for this purpose, this very purpose, I was born. Okay, for this very hour, Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven, heaven saying, I have glorified it with I have glorified it and will glorify it again. Therefore the people stood by and heard it. Oh sorry. Therefore the people who stood by and heard it said that they had, that it had thundered. Others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, This voice did not come come because of me, but for your sake. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of, of this world will be cast out. And I, if I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. This he said, signifying what death he would die. Okay? So he was telling them what kind of death he would be lifted up. Okay? He's going to be lifted up from the earth. Okay? The people answered him, 
We have heard from the law that the Christ remains forever. And how can you say the Son of Man be, must be lifted up? Who is the Son of Man? Then Jesus said to them, A little while longer the light is with you. Walk, walk while you have the light, lest darkness overtake you. He who walks in darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light, that you may become sons of the light. These things Jesus spoke and departed, and was hidden from them. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Who has believed our report? But although he had done so many signs before them, they did not believe in him, that the word of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, which he spoke. Lord, who has believed our report, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Therefore they could not believe, because Isaiah said again, He has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts, lest they should see with their eyes, lest they should understand with their hearts in turn, so that I should heal them. These things Isaiah said when he saw his glory and spoke of him. Walk in the light. Nevertheless, even among the rulers, many believed in him. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, because they were afraid of the Pharisees. I mean, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. For they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. Isn't that the truth? You know, a lot of us uh, proclaim, who say we're Christians, you know, we're Christians in church, but we don't want to be Christians, you know, in front of our friends, you know. So we, we care more about what people think. We care about the praise of men more than we care about the praise of God. <coughs> so we don't confess him. All right. Then Jesus cried out and said, He who believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And he who sees me sees him who sent me. I have come as a light into the world that whoever believes in me should not abide in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not believe, I do not judge him. For I do not come to, come to judge the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and does not receive my words has that which judges him. The word that I have spoken will judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken on my own authority, but the Father who sent me gave me command that what I should... <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, what I should say and what I should speak, and I know that his command is everlasting life. Therefore, whatever I speak, just as the Father has told me, so I will speak. Okay, so let's move on to chapter 13. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. John 13. Jesus washes the disciples' feet. Now before the feast of Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come, that he should depart from the world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And supper being ended, the devil, having, having already put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, rose from supper and laid aside his garments, and took a towel and girded himself. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and wipe them with the towel which he had girded, which with the, which he was girded. Sorry. Then he came to Simon and Peter, and Peter said to him, "Lord, are you washing my feet?" Jesus answered him, answered and said to him, "What I am doing, you do not understand now, but you will know after this." <coughs> Peter said to him, <coughs> "Sorry." <coughs> Peter said to him, You shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no part with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, He who is bathed needs only to wash his feet, but is completely clean. And you are clean, but not all of you. Hint, hint. For he knew who would betray him. Therefore he said, You are not all clean. So when he had washed their feet taking his garments and sat down again he said to them do you know what I have done to you you call me teacher and Lord and sorry I just bracket outside the door and Lord and you say well for I am for so I am if I then your Lord and teacher have washed your feet you also ought to wash one another's feet for I have given you an example that you should do as also I have done to you most assuredly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is he who is, great, who is sent greater than he who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you, do, if you do them. Jesus identified his betrayer. 
I do not speak concerning all of you. I know whom I have chosen, but the, but that the scripture may be fulfilled. He who eats bread with me has lifted up his heel against me. Now I tell you, before it comes, that when it does come to pass, you may believe that I am he. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who receives whomever I send receives me, and he who receives me receives him who sent me. When Jesus had said these things, he was troubled in spirit and testified and said, Most assuredly, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Then the, then the disciples looked at one another, perplexed about whom he spoke. Now there was a leaning on there was leaning on Je Jesus' bosom, one of Je his disciples whom Jesus loved. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask who it was, whom he of whom he spoke. Then leaning back on Jesus' breast, he said to him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is him. It, it is he to whom I shall give a piece of bread when I have dipped it. After having dipped the bread, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. Now after the piece of bread, Simon, Satan entered him. Then Jesus said to him, what, what you do, do quickly. But no one at the table knew for what reason he said this to him. For some thought, because Judas had, had the money box, that Jesus said to him, Buy those things which we need for the feast, or that he should give something to the poor. Having received the piece of bread, he then went immediately, and it was night, the new commandment. So when he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him, him in himself, and will glorify him immediately. Little children, I shall be with you a little while longer. You will seek me. And as I said to the Jews, Where I am going, you cannot come. So now I say to you, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Okay? You all, under, you all need to underline this, okay? Highlight it, whatever you need to do. But this is important. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this, all will know that you are my disciples. Okay? So, all of you backbiting Christians out there who are hating on each other and hating on other people, it says here, that you love one another as I have loved you. Okay? By this, by this, all will know you are my disciples. How can people know, you know, if you're the Lord's disciples, if you're hating on people? Okay? You have to love one another. Okay? If you have love for one another. All right? Jesus predicts Peter's denial. <coughs> Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you shall follow me afterwards. Peter said to him, Lord, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for your sake. And Jesus answered him, Will you lay down your life for my sake? Most assuredly, I say to you, the rooster shall not crow till you have denied me three times. Okay, and that concludes um, chapters 12 and 13 of John. And until next time, <coughs> I pray that you're all blessed. I apologize for my coughing and hacking throughout this video. I'm still trying to get better. Uh, please pray for me. <coughs> until next time, be blessed in Yeshua's name. Amen. Goodbye. Good night.